the Princess of Petroleum, Miss Jolene Oaks. Step one, we meet. Step two, I woo her. And now, the perfect setting for our third and final tryst. The lights are low, the wine is chilled, the air is scented with regret as she makes her sizable contribution to the prince's mission, and then tragically fades off into the night. Sweet. When I grow up, I want to be just like you. Now go and sit and observe me while I play her like a violin. No, I'm not there. We'll find someplace else. I seem distracted. It's just I had a bit of bad news from the front. Oh no! Yes, the losses were quite staggering. They gave me the wrong size. That's okay. I'll just give it to my cousin Arbutus. She takes a size 16. She says it's the thyroids, but I say it's the pork rinds. If only there was some way I could afford to be on my men and regain the throne. But she's not Maid of honor? Oh. <laughs> well, you'll meet her at the wedding. Are you inviting anybody? We didn't see the veil, I thought. Oh, they said nuns went blind, but hey, it's not like they go skeet shooting. Julie! What? When did we decide we're getting married? Alrighty. Remember that other night when you were telling me about your family ring? Well, yes, of course. And then you said my eyes were like the ocean. Yes. And then we ordered the iced tea. Yes. Somewhere in there. <laughs> All right. Now listen up. Daddy's jet is picking us up at 9 a.m. Europe time. Then it's straight off to Oaks, Oklahoma for the end of barbecue season and your bachelor party. Jolene, as you might say, whoa!
Now my 